Hello. Today, I will show you how to set up Unity Catalog in Azure. But first, let's go and check the requirements. So first of all, you need to have the Azure Active Global uh, di uh, Director Global Administrator uh, role to access the Account Console. Once you do it, you no longer need to have this specific access. You need also to have a Databricks uh, workspace with a premium plan, and of course, the permission to create an ADLS Gen2, but also to grant uh, permissions over this specific ADLS. And now let's go to my Azure account. I will go to my resource group that I have created, and I will go and create my, my Azure Databricks workspace. Of course, I will name it Yousef. I will make sure to choose, for example, for my case, West US. And of course, the premium tire is very, very important. I'm going to create this workspace. I will also go and create my Azure storage. Azure Storage account. Something very, very important to keep in mind. So I will call it Yusef Marini. I will choose the same location as West US. Of course, should be premium and make sure to choose a block uh, blobs. And then in the advanced, this is very, very important, enable hierarchical namespace, and then review and create, of course, <laughs> this storage account. I will go back again, and you'll see that my uh, workspace is still under, under deployment. And I will go and create the connector. This connector for Databricks. I will call it connector. It should be on the same region, so West US. And of course, I'll create the connector. I will go back to my other resource. And something important, make sure to uh, to copy the resource ID you will have over here because you're going to use it, you're going to need it later. So go to the resource. And this is, let's keep this resource ID over here. I'll go back to my workspace. I need to log in to my specific uh, workspace, and I think it's not deployed yet. I need to go to uh, Yusef Marini, which is my storage. I'll create a container. I'll call it Yusef. <clears throat> I need to go to IAM roles, add role assignment. That will be storage blob contributor. Next, manage identity. And I'll select my connector, grant the permission. 
I'll see if my workspace is now on. Yeah. I need to launch my workspace. I need to sign in first. <clears throat> And then I can go and access the uh, the account console. I'll go to data, create meta store first. I bet I did not delete this meta store. So I will go over here. I'll call it Yousef West US and make, and you, you can only have one uh, meta store per region. I'll go to my connector and copy the resource ID. And then I need to follow this specific uh, to create my ADLS Gen 2 path. So over here, my container is called Yousef Arobas. Yousef, I think I did call it, name it Yousef Marini, maybe? Yousef Marini, yeah. So Yousef Marini, well, the DFS dot, just need to make sure that DFS core windows. Okay, and now I'm gonna create my meta store. And then I just need to assign this meta store. I'm gonna enable Delta sharing. So I won't set an expiration, but you can do it. And then as I will assign it to the specific, to my uh, workspace that I already created. I'll go and open my workspace. I'll create my first cluster. So you see over here, I have Unity catalog. I'll set up termination to 15 minutes. I'll enable Photon. Then I will create my cluster. <clears throat> In the meantime, you can uh, get to know how to use Unity Catalog by following my uh, the previous video that I have released where I explain the difference between managed tables, external tables, how you can benefit from the lineage. <laughs> Uh, how to track like uh, everything you've done, the uh, the audit logs, how you can grant and revoke permissions with the, using the UI, uh, using the, the the UI and the uh, the API as well. And you can see over here that my my Meta Store has already been uh, set up because over here you see my my Meta Store. I can come over here and start granting permissions to users and groups. So of course, I uh, will that's set to myself. I will grant myself all permissions over here. Of course, if I go back to the accounts console, so over here you can you can add uh, you can add users, service principles, groups. I can come here and I can, for example, set up like uh, the uh, provisioning by adding the scheme. I can activate or uh, some features, uh, choose the language settings, and of course my prefer and everything you want to have. And then let's see if my cluster is ready to be used. So in the meantime, I will just go and create my first notebook. Getting started with Unity. Choose my language SQL, create. And then once my uh, I will create once my cluster is on, I will create my catalog. I'll call it Yousef. Use catalog Yousef. And then what I will do, I will just copy paste the creation of uh, of a specific uh, of a specific uh, table. So for my case, I'm gonna copy paste it. I'm gonna create a database called uh, Databricks Paris, then colleagues, 
And of course, once my cluster is created, I will create my first Delta table, manage Delta table in, of course, uh, Unity catalog. So in the meantime, you see uh, the cluster is still uh, warming up. So over here, I'm creating a catalog. Of course, there is something that changed slightly compared to uh, using Hive Metastore. So now we have three level namespace. We have the catalog, then we have the database, and then we have uh, the, the table. And of course, you can grant permissions like at every, at the granular level, you can grant permissions per catalog, then per database, then per table. Or for example, you can make sure to use inheritance, which means you grant all privileges to catalog and it goes till uh, till the tables <clears throat> and over you and you can you can do this straight from the data explorer tab or of course using the ui grant select uh, uh select on table uh to for example to a specific user or a specific uh a group and there is something important to keep in mind unity catalog comes at no cost and uh, you always pay for the compute the up the uptime of the cluster. So you you can uh, see now that my uh, catalog has been created. We are currently creating the database, and then I'm creating my uh, my specific uh, table. <coughs> of course, it's under creation. Of course, I will do something so that I did create a high meta store. So our knowledge yourself dot data grids. Okay, so you see the table already exists. So if I go to data, I'll choose the catalog Yusef. Databricks Paris, and now you see, you can see the colleagues, you can see also sample, sample of the data. So now I, you're ready to use Unity Catalog. Of course, you can also set up, if you want to store the data in another ADLS, you can set up what we call external locations and uh, storage uh, credential. Thank you for following uh, this uh, session.